Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are here at MLG, which is Major League Gaming's Shakuras Plateau on this battlefield of amazingness for the bronze, silver, and gold Zig.com tournament. Well, right now I'm drinking Red Bull. It is amazing. I'm here with my amazing co-caster, hey. Wiley Kemp. Hey, guys. And <laughs> uh, right at the top right, we have the orange Zerg. I like that color, but it's not as good as yellow, but the orange Zerg is Zanabi. On the bottom left, we have the amazing blue. I don't really like blue personally. It's, I just don't like because it it's a lot of colors. But blue Protoss. Like, what do you think is going to be happening in this game? Uh, this game, Jade. Um, I don't really know. Probably just some cheesing, to be completely honest. But I watched the Nami play yesterday, and he's a very good player. Um, he looked very strong against the Protoss he played yesterday. You get a scouting, scouting coming from 9, and any cheese that he does will be nullified if you scout on 9, because on Shakira's Plateau, there's only one of two starting positions, the top right or the top, uh, the top right or the bottom right, I should say, uh, because any real scouting, like, there's, because there's, of the ramp on the uh, MLG, you actually can't do the three pile on wall, it actually doesn't really work, because you actually can't block them off, so cheese is not very effective, uh, really on either side, so I don't reckon, in a best of one, you wouldn't really cheese the first game, it doesn't really seem very, uh, kind of viable, it's kind of like very all-in-ish. And uh, we got a spawning pool down at 14, so this is going to be completely standard from the Zerg here. But the uh, um, Protoss probe coming in, just to be a scout, have a bit of a, a, bit of a look, see? It definitely looks like a 4 gate from the Protoss, considering the gate was on 12 and the gas was on 14. I mean, no, that's that's not necessarily true. You can always uh, just transition, get like an, uh, like, uh, like say a three stalker rush. You always can, you do pretty much exactly the same thing, you just need to kind of watch out for deviations here. But uh, it could all, it could happen, you never know. Uh, there's only two guys in gas here, though. I'm not sure how to agree with that. You don't really have optimal gas mining. Oh, there you go. He corrects that and puts the third guy in there. I'm loving this uh, probe run around. He's, he's doing a bit of platinum leaking here. Uh, I don't really agree with this either. He's actually got no zerglings coming out either. I don't really understand. He's supply block. Actually... If he actually stops at a uh, hundred gas, he will be doing. If he mines more than a hundred gas, he will be going for most probably roaches or, or definitely roaches. You wouldn't go for one base bailing bus. That doesn't really make very much sense. But you never know. I've seen worse things. Yeah, we have. Now a roach we, have a roach, <laughs> we have a five roach rush coming out from uh, Zanabi. This is an incredibly strong build. He needs to go out there and scout this, otherwise he's going to shit the bed and probably die. He needs to get a sentry or a stalker to actually survive this. He's uh, getting two guys in gas, which is amazing for the sentries. He needs to chrono out some probes, though, which is what he's doing. I'm loving this build. Uh, the easy way you can always scout a roach rush, if they just keep mining uh, gas. That's all they're going to do is mine gas. So, uh, do you reckon this roach rush is going to um, kind of kill the Protoss? Depends. Uh, d has he scouted? Hang on. Uh, no, he has not. He has no idea where he is, so... I don't know. They're coming out now, but it just... Oh, he's about to come in and scout it now. Holy hell, this is going to be huge. As you can see, it's a seven roach rush. He's getting all seven, and he knows. He's like, oh, shit, I'm about to go to Frown Town, and he scouts it. That is perfect. All he needs to do is... That, oh, he's but he's got a sentry out. He's pretty much fine. He's just... Um, seven roach rush with the sentry. You just kind of... You kind of sit there and laugh at it because the wall in is actually tight. Oh, actually, no, it isn't. Uh, Roaches can fit through that gap. They're actually... Uh, I'm loving the chronoing of the sentries. Uh, he's got a three gate. Uh, I don't know how much I agree with that. He should just chrono out the warp, uh, the warp gate, and just get enough out in time. But I don't uh, know. It's definitely hit in time. It's definitely not going to hit in time. He's uh, delayed everything too much. He's uh, this is a very all-inish strategy. Uh, he should have expanded first, though. It's kind of gave it away a bit, I thought. And he can see them all marching right in, and he has the warp gates out. This is going to be easy peasy, lemon squeezy. <laughs> Oh, Red Bull is amazing. And we have definitely enough. We just need one force field. He needs to wait for it to actually get up. He should not force without any force field. Perfect. Uh, he should move with the sentries away. Oh, he always loses one. That's always bad. You can never lose your sentries early game. And he uses another one for some reason. I don't really understand that, but it's okay. You Remember, you got 15 in-game seconds to actually watch for that. That's a long time. Now, what do you reckon uh, Zanabi should do from here? 
I have no idea because I'm really confused by what the Protoss is doing. They've just got three gates. Oh no, he's, he's doing perfect. No, no, that he's doing perfect. That's a three gate expo. So he's got enough money for an expansion. He should just pop down an expansion. He's so far ahead right now. If we look at the income tab, it's oh, it's actually not too far actually ahead for both. But I'm liking that he's drawing it behind this. But I reckon the Protoss is in the lead because just the simple fact he's got a three gate expo going. Like he's already invested all that money in the Roach tech, and he doesn't really have any tech out. He's getting his metabolic boost is just finishing. He, uh, I don't know, I just reckon the Protoss is pretty far ahead, just because he uh, kind of killed that early aggression. And uh, just the more, more burst production out of the gates, I, I think, is probably better better in the long run. It just depends who doesn't get supply box, really. So we do see yeah. our Protoss getting uh, hallucination uh, research. I love so. that idea. He's the best. Like, I, I rarely get that in my games. You just go pop out a Phoenix and go scout, and you just see the whole map. And he's getting a lair. I I really disagree with that decision. You do not you do not need to go high tech, especially this. You need a drone up to about 40 or 50 on two base. Maybe get a third before you start going lair. Um, he might be worried about some DT play because you've got double gas. It's, it's understandable, but that's why you chuck down the Evo for a spore if you're that worried. But uh, Phoenix is going to scout all of this. I love this play. He's got two Phoenixes. This guy is obviously taking a tri taking a um, page out of. Uh, Genius's book. I was about to nearly forget his name for a minute. Genius, the code S player from GSL. He scouts everything, and he knows that there's no third, so he knows probably a, le a tech play is coming up. And he's got two Evo chambers, but he's not doing any upgrades. I do not agree with that at all. As we look over here, is there any upgrades coming out? Oh, I see this plus one coming out of that forge is brilliant. I definitely think he needs to use his Evos like. As soon as they come up, you need to use them. That's how this kind of game is. And at the moment, uh, amazingly, Onyx is actually behind. I don't really know. Oh, no, they're equal in harvests. I just, hmm, I reckon he needs he needs to both like harvest that gas. We do see. Uh, oh, muta! What the? Yeah, we do see the spire going down and uh, roach speed being researched, but. We also see the plus one uh, for the Protoss, and he is getting a Twilight Council, and also his Stargate is just finished, and he is going to be getting out Void Rays. I, I really disagree with this decision. Um, he and he's uh, got it, it rallied it straight to the third. Such a bad because Void Rays is going to om nom nom. But if you got Phoenixes out, it'd be a lot better. But as these, these oh, he scouts the Spire. Well, that's kind of done a bit of whole Nvidia plans like. At the moment, like the, the he can only get out five muters by the time this spy. I mean, five or six muters by the time this thing's done. So he's not really gonna have anything to really help with this. Like he's getting blinked to counter that. He is just so far ahead in every way. I really think this void ray should be pulled back with defense. I don't agree with that going out. He's just gonna be sitting. Go um, oh, unless he goes he picks up this third, which I'm gonna love. That'd be a really good idea because the spire isn't actually done yet. It's done about it, now. It's actually rallied there. So. That's just gonna chew up those drones that have just been sent there, and really, I should try and focus on hatchery because nothing can really shoot up at the moment here. That's perfect. I love that. But uh, how long until muters? Wow, well, there's no muters out at all. We see uh, two spore crawlers being built. Oh wow, we got some uh, pressure coming in with stalkers and a plus one push. I. I I don't really know how much I agree with that. These, these are going to get... He need, this is all going to come down to four seals right here. This engagement. He needs to get perfect four seals. Otherwise, he's going to get a frown town. Oh, no. He needs to block off the roach. That's an okay job, I guess. He just needs to reposition. And he's targeting the hatcher with that void route. I do not agree with that at all. He, the, Zel the Zelts are taking this spore core. I don't agree with that at all either. He lost all those things for no reason. He just needs to kill this and then move back. Uh, I'm not really sure who had got ahead in that one. I mean, it wasn't expansion, but that wasn't really mining. But he wasn't really that far behind. Uh, no muters are in production either. I don't really understand that. Like, he's got a spy, what, just to look at it, or? Hmm. He really does. He didn't really does like the R button. Unfortunately, the uh, roaches got a really bad thing of not being able to attack up. So. He's oh, trying to expand again. Um, we can see the hatcheries. He wants to put that hatchery down again. He's just sacrificing oh, his drones. Oh, he actually could have made that, and he could have cut it into the spore crawl, but he just decided to cancel it. And we got a big roach push coming in. 
Oh, Ghost of Fossil, hello genius. Well, obviously we're seeing GSL again. We've got this immortal just chewing. We've already got two kills. Holy thing, Batman. We have another Void Ray coming out, coming to deliver the pain. Right before plus two is finished, that would make me rage. It doesn't really matter, though, because he just cleaned that up easily. He should uh, go work at a Kleenex factory for some toilet paper, because he cleaned that up perfectly. <laughs> and I love that joke. That was brilliant. Um, I'm really, really liking this, the Protoss' scouting of this game, which is really crisp. I don't understand why he got the Spire out there, that just confuses it. And he's getting air with no muters? Okay. Oh, there we go, 12 muters coming out, actually. Here we go. We do see um, plus one uh, for air uh, being researched. We also see plus two armor and plus one missile. No, melee attacks, I should say. We've already got plus one for missile. And Void Ray just went down to Frown Town. I really feel sorry for him. And the muters are just walking past stuff. And it's like, hey guys, hey, just walk past the Void Ray before and said hello. And then they flew past and then they realize, hey, he's an enemy and try to decide to kill him. The Protoss is getting plus three at the moment. And he has his oh, third gun down. down. Yeah, that's, I like that timing. I reckon he should have done it a little bit earlier. Um, both of their counts are pretty high. I'm, I'm really thinking... He should get a lot of Phoenix out to counter these muters because he's already seen them and he needs to sit in his base. Do not. Oh, he's only got two cannons. Does he have Blink? He has Blink. Well, uh, I think this is pretty much. This is like he needs to. He just needs to harass. Like if he, it's just only a hundred minerals. He does not need to just commit to this. He's just gonna blink down and take him out of Frown Town. Blink, blink, blink. No, he could have gotten about two or three kills there. I think. That is a lot of stalkers. Stalkers, as we all know, they're ridiculously good, especially with plus three. Uh, we have a Void Ray chilling out the front, just having a look. Um, oh, they're going straight to the third. I love that idea. Oh, but he's putting cannons. It's not late. It's too late. I, I feel really... Oh, my God, it's only scanned the fourth. But the attack move command has been initiated. Mutalists have arrived. Look at those glaives. They're just tearing through. Oh my god, on the pro transfer, he's like, hey guys, oh shit. Oh, I'm glad he cancelled, that's good. He really needs to get just all his... He needs to split them up, he can't move his whole army. That's pretty much a sure way to just die. Only one problem is with, Zeno with Zanabi, he's actually not macroing by his at all. He's got a 2k minerals, he went... He just... He doesn't actually like macroing, guys. Like, he, uh... Yeah, he just likes his, uh... Oh, there we go, he just spent uh, another 13 muters. I guess that's how you roll when you're He reserved. just got his infestation pit, so he will be probably taking up to higher very shortly. Um, I don't really understand why you would go higher in this situation. I mean, like, you haven't, even, you haven't even got, like, your plus twos done. You should really get your We've plus twos done. We've also got the um, uh, observer in his uh, base, and the Protoss did just get their uh, robotics bay down. Yeah? Yep. Yeah, and, um... <laughs> He's getting the uh, extended thermal lance, and the Colossus yeah. are coming out now. Plus um, three is also really done. That. I really reckon you should get Storm in this situation, because you have not actually seen any real... Uh, like, I mean, you, you, you kind of can gather... Has he actually scouted the infestation pit for those... Uh, uh, let's have a gander on it. Have you seen that infestation pit? No, no you, you haven't. haven't. Oh, I mean, I understand why he's in the infestation pit, but... Uh, He's getting it to counter his Blink Stalkers on mass. That's a very good idea, just to, like, just to lock them down while the Zerglings come from behind. Oh my god, such a big ball of muters. 70, there's 70 of them, I think. Holy hell. Oh, never mind, I had the wrong thing open. 22 muters, I was going to say 70, Jesus Christ. He is going to town on this main. He needs to, oh, looks like somebody base trade. Uh, I think that the actual... Protoss are gonna win this, like, the simple fact is, like, you can just warp shit in and, like, pray to God, I guess. Um, so, I don't, yeah, he's attacking the Hive, I'm not really sure why, if he's getting Corruptors, I guess he was gonna try to go for Broodlords or something. Oh, uh, I, I, I think he was just gonna go Corruptors, because he saw the, um, Colossus coming out, I thought he thinks there's more, but there's actually not. Uh, uh, yep, yeah, it looks like it's going to go down. Oh, taking down a frown town. Uh, I, at the 